main bottleneck to a startup's growth is not tech or funding, it's people. Creative problem solvers that can innovate, adapt, and take your company to the next level. Hi, I'm Drusilla. I'm a gaming industry leader and entrepreneur from companies like Supercell, Rovio, and my previous startup, Papukaya. I'm also the founder and chair of Hive Helsinki, a pioneering peer-to-peer -peer coding school in Finland. Hi, my name is Salla, and I work as the community and partnerships lead at Hive, where for the past three years I've been building the community of problem-solving tech talent. So, in 20 years of experience, working alongside top tech talent in some of the best companies in my industry, I've been facing a challenge over and over again that I'm sure you're all very familiar with, and it's the lack of that talent. Talent that combines the hard technical skills, but also an entrepreneurial mindset. I mean creative problem solvers that own their work and collaborate with others towards solutions. And in my experience, it's the lack of that kind of talent that's keeping us from innovation and growth. And in other words, it's what's keeping me and you from getting shit done. And what concerns me is that it's not getting any easier. As you know, new technologies are changing the landscape around us as we speak. So if anything, it's going to get harder and harder. And traditional schools are not set up to keep up with this new demand. And that is why Hive Helsinki exists, a pioneering peer-to-peer -peer coding school with a mission to future-proof Finland with the best coding talent that it deserves. Indeed, we are not shy in saying that Hive produces the best coding talent that are employed by the top companies in Finland. How we do it? Well, I'll run you through it. First of all, we don't have any teachers, lectures, courses or classes at Hive. Absolutely zero hand holding. Instead, what we offer is 100% practical project-based studies. So our students learn by doing. There's no theory, no extra fluff, just hands-on problem solving. However, Hive is anything but easy, but the studies are very demanding, both on a technical level and on a professional level. Also, the student selection is very difficult, so we only take in the most motivated candidates. The studies last 1.5 years, so in just 18 months, our students build the skills that they need to thrive and succeed in the real world. But we don't gatekeep, so Hive is tuition-free and open to all plus 18 years olds to apply. Our student community brings in people from all walks of life. We have people who have never graduated from school and dropped out. We have people who have had long careers behind them, nurses and dentists who upskilled themselves with technical talent and are now creating dental health tech or health tech. But we have also people who are switching their entire careers. Farmers, airplane, pilot, airplane pilots, musicians, artists, lawyers. Think of the profession we have it represented at Hive. So we're tapping into untapped talent. Finally, we are a non-profit foundation, so we don't exist to make money, but we exist to solve a problem and to answer to a need. Now, okay, I've said lots of fancy, nice, dandy words, but how does it then work in practice? How do you learn in a school without any teachers, any courses, any lectures? Well, at the heart of Hive are our students, but also this, our curriculum. Now, first of all, our students study in C and C++. They don't use any existing libraries and they build their own functions from the scratch. Why, you ask? That's because we want our students to get the core fundamental understanding of how the machine and how a computer operates. So instead of teaching them the latest dandy, flashy, new trend technology, they understand the logic, the fundamental logic behind building things. Now, if you're a founder in the audience and you're thinking, OK, C, old school, traditional language, and I don't even use C or C++ in my company, you're missing the point. So by learning these fundamental technical skills, they're able to very easily build on top of those. So learning any higher level languages, tools or frameworks is really easy for our students. 
And in fact, the entire curriculum is based on teaching the students on learning on the go. So no matter what job they do, they're able to hit the ground running. So during the curriculum, while they're working on these projects, they are being introduced to a variety of different concepts. And with very, very minimal help, they dive into the deep end of algorithms, of Unix, of networks, of full stack development. So they, head, they dive in head first. And just by doing this, when they enter the jobs, they can hit the ground running. Now, how they work on the projects is by seeking knowledge, sharing knowledge, finding resources and information, connecting dots together, analyzing. And they're trying, but most importantly, they're failing, and they're failing a lot. And by failing a lot, they learn to fail smart. Well, what have we then achieved while we have been existing? So for the first five years of operations, Hive has grown from an idea to a school that has employed now over 250 students. And considering that the studies last only 18 months and the majority of the students didn't have any prior experience in coding, this is quite remarkable. In fact, the student base is very diverse and 62% of our students are international. So we're tapping into untapped talent. The result where the employers love what they see and they're giving high ratings for the students when they enter the job market. Who are then these employers hiring our hires? Well, there are over a hundred of them. We're talking industry leaders, product companies, growth companies, uh, security, um, health tech, you name it. And we are especially proud to see up there Companies that are notorious for only hiring seniors. Take Supercell, for example, where Hive was actually born to begin with. Even for them, it took years to take a leap of faith and hire their first Hivers. And you know why it happened? Out of a necessity. Because the most technically challenging and ambitious game project of, in the history of the company couldn't move forward because of the talent bottleneck that we talked about earlier. So they decided to give it a shot, and because it works so well, now many teams today at Supercell have hired from Hive, and they come to the school every year with exclusive job opportunities for our students. And that is just one success story out of many. Another case is Vault that we are very proud of as well. They've hired, uh, next, last year they had an internship program where they hired uh, 12 students overall, thousands of applications, and five of the 12 students hired, or interns, uh, were from Hive. They are also a long-time collaborator and come to our school every week to interact with our students. And also, it's not just the growth companies that are happy with the Hivers, the larger corporate companies as well. And from them, we hear uh, stories about how Hivers are bringing a startup mindset into their organization, into their teams, and improving cooperation and communication overall. So the feedback has been amazing and consistent across the board, no matter what size the company or what industry. So now you might ask, sounds too good to be true. What's in the water at Hive? What are these people drinking? And it's what, if you're here today, it's what everybody's drinking. It's the entrepreneurial mindset. And we have to repeat it because it's that important. It's very easy today, and trust me, I've been hiring people for teams for a long time. It's very easy to find people who are good at finding problems and pointing at them, but who then fail to solve, to own them and solve them. And when I say this, I'm not even talking just about juniors, I'm talking about seniors as well. It's a, it's a problem across the board. Yeah, it's a problem across the board. And, um, uh, you know, it makes me think of frustrations like, you know, I'm sure you've all have experienced um, working with someone who might be very skilled, but maybe they are complacent now. Or they keep doing something in the only way that they know how to, but then resist change when you need it the most. Or they are very knowledgeable, but they are not able to share knowledge with others and communicate, which are all behaviors that stifle innovation and that you should avoid at all costs. And instead, prioritize these kinds of skills, 
future-proof skills like autonomy, creative problem-solving, resilience, responsibility, and so forth. So-called soft skills that I would argue are the hardest skills to teach on the job. And lucky for you, you don't have to, because through Hive, we are already filtering and screening for raw talent that has these attributes, all this foundation that you can build on top of. And at Hive, we equip this talent with the tools and the hard skills to hit the ground running in your company from day one. And it doesn't matter if it's games, web development, cybersecurity, you name it. It doesn't matter. With this solid foundation, Hivers will pick up any technology that you need like this. And the great thing is that we're here to serve all of you. So Hive really is a key piece, a missing piece in the ecosystem, an agile, independent, fast organization that trains the talent that you need. So there are a few ways that you can already work with us. For example, you can tap into the talent pool at Hive to find your next hire and co-founder. Or you can organize events and activities together with us, share your real-world knowledge with the students, or present your brand. And if you are a forward thinker, you might even want to support Hive's mission alongside Supercell to make sure that the school continues to exist in the future and have an even bigger impact. And finally, just trust me, if this talent, if this talent gap wouldn't be a problem or there would have been a solution for it already, I wouldn't be here today. I would be making games, happily, business as usual. But that's not the case, it is a big problem. And that is why, with the Hive team, we are working our butts off, taking matters into our hands, so that we all have the talent that we actually need. So that one day when I hire again, start a new team, if I'm crazy enough to start a company again, that I will have the talent that I need. And that just came out, out of frustration. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wasn't on the script. And uh, you can, but you can see that what, what, um, the way I feel about the school, it's, I see it as more than just a school, it's actually a culture. It's agile and independent as a startup. It's a movement. And we are here to invite you alongside this movement in any role that makes sense to you as a supporter, an advocate, a partner. Let's talk and find ways to collaborate because I'm confident that we can help each other and together make an even bigger impact. So here's our call to action to you. Our emails are over there, so please do send us a message. Drusilla and I will be also on Slush tomorrow, so send us a message via the matchmaking tool. We hope you have a lovely rest of the day and we thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>